add black to the backdrop, what you're doing is adding the most contrast you can possibly do. Like we talked about in my living room. You want to dip in with the other brush? I know you hate painting. I hate painting. I know you do. This is where I call somebody <laughs> and say, listen, I make dinner. You make paint work. I mean, <laughs> OK. <laughs> So it's so simple. We're just going to paint the black of the back of this, or the black of this, um, really inexpensive bookshelf. And, and it makes it look a whole lot richer. Whoops, well, I hope you wanted black there too. Chefs don't paint. <laughs> chefs don't paint. But you know what? You're getting the idea, guys. It takes merely minutes, a little bit of painter's tape if you don't paint. And <laughs> I coated the no, whole no, thing. No hint. <laughs> Okay, so once you have that backdrop of black, what I'm gonna show you is how much, how much deeper. It looks so much richer, first of all, and deeper. It, it looks deeper, and anything you pop against it. Now, I did color-coded book sculptures. You of course read. you did. <laughs> Everybody does color-coded book sculpture. You know, when I was oh. doing my own built-in, and I've done them for all of you for so many years, I was like, how could I do this differently? And I just started stacking colors haphazardly, not big to small or right, small right, to right. big. Have a little fun with it, and now you can see how that color starts to pop against the contrast of the black, and it's cool. so much better.